Hey guys, today I'm here with the InGen Evolution Cold Air Intake with the oiled filter fitting all 2016 and newer 3.5 liter Toyota Tacomas. So if you've noticed a lack of power or you're just looking to increase the performance out of that 3.5 liter, then a cold air intake is a perfect place to start. And this option by InGen is going to be a really good one to take a look at. So this is going to have a dyno tested increase of 17 horsepower and 15 foot pounds of torque, giving you a decent amount of power out of a cold air intake while also improving your engine noise. Now I would like to mention that those gains are going to be in the higher RPM ranges where we don't spend a lot of time as truck owners. However, you can expect to feel this cold air intake in your throttle response, especially when you're getting on the highway and you are in those higher RPMs, as well as in your fuel economy, considering that this is going to help your truck run a little bit more efficiently because of that cold air. Now the design is going to be a closed box option with an oiled filter. So the oiled filter will last essentially the lifetime of the intake in the truck, considering that it is cleanable and reusable. And that enclosed box is gonna provide a lot of protection, especially for those truck owners who are out and in wetter climates or out off-roading and need that extra protection to their filter to make sure that there's nothing getting inside of that. Not only are you getting an efficient design out of the actual air box and the filter, but you are gonna have a ram air duct on the front, which is gonna do a really good job at pulling all of that cold air in from the grill and getting it directly to your filter, which will increase that performance for your truck. Not to mention, this is just going to look a lot better than that factory intake as well as factory air box that's underneath your hood, giving you a little bit of a refresh inside your engine bay. As far as price goes, this is gonna be roughly $400, and I personally think that that's a pretty good price point for what this comes with. Now, there are gonna be a couple of different designs as far as cold air intakes on the site goes, considering that some may come with a heat shield instead of a closed box option like this one. Some may come with a dry filter instead of an oil filter, or they may not come with that ram air duct on the front, considering that the InGen Evolution is really the only option that comes with that ram air. Now, I personally think if you're looking for a protected filter, you're looking for something that's gonna last a long time, it's going to do a really good job at pulling a lot of cold air in, increasing that performance on your truck, then this option by InGen is gonna be a really good one to take a look at. So this is actually gonna be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. You're gonna need some very basic hand tools to get the job done, as well as about an hour's worth of your time. So speaking of that install, let's jump into that now. Tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, a pair of pliers, a ratchet, a five inch extension, a 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and eight millimeter deep socket, a flathead and Phillips head screwdriver, standard set of Allen keys, and a trim removal tool. So our first step is very easy. We just have to pop off our engine cover and get that out of the way so we can access our intake and our throttle body here. Next, we can remove this hose on the side. I have a pair of pliers. I'm just gonna clamp that clamp down and pull back. Great, move that out of the way. Then we can disconnect our MAF sensor over here. So I just have a small flathead screwdriver. There is a clip holding in our wiring harness. I'm gonna undo that, get that out of the way. So we can press down on the wiring harness here and pull back. You should hear a little click. We can get that out of the way as well. So there is another clip on the back here that's connected to our resonator. Should be pretty easy to pop out. If that gives you some trouble, you can use a trim removal tool or a flathead, but it should be pretty simple. Now we can loosen up our clamps. Then we can loosen up the one that's on our air box and our intake tube using the same 10 millimeter socket. Should be able to wiggle off our intake tube after both of those are disconnected. Get that out of the way and we can work on our air box. Our next step is to take off the top of our air box and take out our filter so we can access bolts underneath. All we have to do is push forward on these clamps and unhook them and we should be able to very easily pop that out. This is where we can access our filter. It's just a drop-in filter, so we can take that out. And there are two bolts in the inside of our air box that we have to remove. Now we can remove the two bolts on the inside of our air box using a 12 millimeter socket. I'm also using a five inch extension to give myself a little bit of room just because this is pretty deep here. So we do have one more bolt on the outside here that's holding our air box in place. We're gonna use that same 12 millimeter socket and extension to remove that. Okay. 
After those three bolts are removed, we can wiggle out our air box and we're ready for install. Before we jump into the install, I wanted to set our two intakes side by side, tell you guys a little bit more about this engine and what it's gonna do to benefit your Tacoma in comparison to your stock setup. Now, as you can tell, these are both gonna be closed off units. So the factory filter is going to sit inside this big air box here, and that's gonna be really the same for the in-gen cold air intake. That's gonna do a really good job of protecting the filter from anything that's inside of the engine bay or any splashes of water, making sure that nothing's getting into that filter. Now, where it's different is the fact that this is going to have a ram air setup on the front, and it's also gonna have a little bit of a different design when it comes to the intake tube. So as you can tell in the in-gen intake tube, it's going to be a straight through design. It's also gonna be a lot larger, which is gonna let a lot more air flow through it. And on our stock one here, this is gonna have a resonator on the back, and that's gonna cause a lot of restriction, which you don't want because you want all of that extra air or all of that airflow going directly to your throttle body into your intake manifold. This is also gonna be made of a molded and resilient polyurethane construction, which will be very rigid and durable inside your engine bay, hold up for a very long time, and it's also not gonna retain any heat, which is basically the same for the factory system, considering that it is made of similar plastic material. However, this is gonna look a little bit better sitting inside your engine bay in comparison to your factory setup. Now, the big difference here where you're getting a lot of your performance is in the filters. So as far as the filters go, the stock setup is gonna have a paper element or a paper filter which is perfect for stock application however if you're looking for an upgrade in performance some better filtration less restriction and you're looking for something that you can keep for the lifetime of your truck moving over to something like this engine filter is going to be right up your alley now this will have to be replaced after so many miles however with the large conical filter that engine provides this is going to be an oiled filter that can be cleaned and reused for the lifetime of your intake and really the lifetime of your truck this is also going to have super nano technology, which essentially means you're getting better filtration with less restriction. So that's going to be perfect for this setup that we have here and perfect to increase the performance on our truck. Not to mention, this is going to come with everything that you need, including all the clamps, seals, and the couplers to install this on your truck. So enough about these two side by side. Let's go ahead and install our engine intake. So our first step to the actual install is to swap over our factory MAF sensor. Now for the factory bolts, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver and there's gonna be two on either side. Now technically, the filter will be sitting like this inside the engine bay. You wanna make sure that it's oriented the correct way. And slide that on top and now we have provided bolts that we can secure this down with. So I'm just using a standard Allen key out of a set. Tightening those on to our intake tube here. Then we can swap over our grommets. So what we need to do now is remove the three grommets where our bolts were sitting that secured down the bottom of our air box. We have to transfer that over to our new air box. So what I'm gonna do is take a flathead screwdriver, push out the metal sleeve in the middle, and then we can manipulate the grommet to remove it from our air box. So I'm just gonna push that out with the Phillips. Just be careful that you're not damaging the grommet. So now we can put our factory air box aside. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's gonna be two on the bottom and then one on the side here. So I'm gonna take one of the grommets, put it in place where they were on the factory air box, make sure that they're seated. Then we can take our metal sleeves and push them through. Now we can grab our seal and put that on the outside. This is gonna sit in our fender well. So once that's on, we can put on our ram air. This is gonna slide right into our air box here. Once that's in, we have a washer and a button head bolt. So we wanna make sure that you put your washers on. They are gonna have a rubber piece on the back. It's gonna seal this. Once that's through, we can thread it through our air box into the ram air. If it 
would want to stay together. Then I'm going to use a four millimeter Allen key, tighten that up into place. Now I'm not going to completely tighten it down because we want to get the rest of our bolts in. Once those are tightened down, we can head over to our Tacoma. So what we're gonna do next is remove the clips that are holding in our radiator shroud. I'm going to be using a flathead screwdriver just to pop these out. You can also use a trim removal tool, but there's gonna be seven in total. Now, if one is being stubborn, you can always use a trim removal tool like I am here. So after all the clips are removed, what we can do is fully remove our radiator shroud, and then we can drop in our new intake. So that seal is gonna go through our fender. This is gonna sit over these two grommets here. So we can take the two clips that we took out in the front, line those up and secure them down into our rad support. Now we can secure our air box down in the factory locations with the factory bolts. Then we can tighten it down with a 12 millimeter socket. Might be a little bit hard to reach, so I also have an extension here. Now again, I don't want to tighten anything down all the way. We want to make sure the rest of our bolts are in before we go ahead and tighten everything down completely. Now again, we're going to have two on the inside of the air box. They are going to be a little bit difficult to see. However, they are going to be in the factory location. What we can do now is install our filter. Now this has a twist to lock base on it. So all we have to do is put this in place, twist it, and it'll stay in place inside our air box here. So now we can install our intake tube. We have this coupler here that's going to attach to our throttle body and our intake tube. The larger side is going to be facing the intake tube and the smaller side is gonna be on our throttle body. So we can fit that larger side of our intake tube into our filter there and fit this over our throttle body. Now we can tighten up our clamps using an eight millimeter socket. I'm also using my impact wrench. You could also use a Phillips head screwdriver if you don't have a socket for this. Then we can plug back in our MAF sensor. And last but not least, we can reattach our hose here. And grab the pliers, move this clamp back up. And then at this point, all you have to do is pop on your engine cover and you're all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.